Well, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on Electric Talks. I don't know how I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep up with that, that little intro that I do, but it is what it is. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are having an absolutely beautiful day whenever you're watching this video. I've been getting a lot of questions. Oh, sick. If you didn't catch that, it's a boner on the thing. <laughs> Every single time the holidays roll around, I get a lot of questions from a lot of people asking me how I manage my calorie intake and Jesus, goodness gracious, around the holidays and how I'm able to, you know, live normally, eat normally, and do every do all the things that I do, maintain my body weight, maintain body fat and all that stuff around my calorie challenges. So in this video, I wanted to kind of show you guys how I actually handle the holidays, being that I just did a massive 70,000 calorie challenge on my main channel. And so in this video, I'm gonna take you through Christmas Eve, Christmas, and uh, show you how I structure things. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so it is Christmas Eve. It is the Eve of Christmas. And Christy has whipped up already a, a lot of treats, a lot of goodies. Um, these are little apple turnovers, I think. They look amazing. So those are gonna be good. Tomorrow is when we're gonna be making. We're gonna, I, I'm gonna try to make a beef wellington <clears throat> at home. So I'm very, very excited about that. Uh, but for tonight, <clears throat> we actually have our neighbors coming over and we're gonna be having some, uh, once again, Christy put all this together. Uh, these are Tim Tams right here. That is the Panettone. That's some maple candy right there. Those are some cinnamon almonds, I think. We have cashews, oranges, because health. Then we have some crackers, some more crackers. That is goat cheese, which looks like mold. That was, it, that was totally Christy's choice right there. Some hummus. And then uh, we also got some pinwheels. Those look good. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna have actually a pretty different Christmas because usually we're either, we're usually with family or whatever, but we're kind of just doing doing things ourselves this year. Just, I'm also trying out some of this modern times right here. So what do you want me to do now? You want me to try one of these before you serve it? Yeah. So it's, is it just apple, apple pie Apple filling? pie filling and just pastry pie. Really good? Okay. Ooh. Mmm. That's actually really good. Mmm. It is good. Mm -hmm. This is grandma's artichoke dip. And that's a broccoli salad. Mm-hmm. Did you get the apple turnovers? Turn oh, I got those. That's what I tried. <laughs> those are tasty. Hopefully our neighbors are gonna like them. What are these called again? Pinwheels? Pinwheels. Rolls? Roll-ups? Pinwheels. Pinwheels? Why are they called pinwheels? Do you want one? You can have one, sorry. So this is grandma's artichoke dip. Mm -hmm. Do you want to feed it to me? It's good. What's that face for? There's just a lot of flavor explosions going on. Did you like dump nacho cheese in, in that? It's Matson Parm. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I... It's Matson Parm. Is it not good? No, it's phenomenal. No, I just need to absorb the flavor explosions going on in my mouth. Delicious. Okay, so you paid six dollars for this little block, block block of mold. Worth every ever dollar. Okay, I I'm gonna, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hate this, but if you don't like that, no, just go ahead and try it. No, that's fine. Don't waste it because you're not gonna like it. Can you cut me like a little? Oh my gosh, you're. I knew it. Don't waste it anymore. You're not allowed to eat anymore. Why did they make that? Why does it's, that exist? It's so good. Happy holidays. A few moments later. 
one of my favorite things to do on holidays is to go for morning runs because there's no one on the road there's no one anywhere so it's always uh, a little bit more fun all right you guys so i ended up finishing that I ended up doing a marathon. I think it's like a tradition for me. Every year for Christmas, I do I do either a big ride or a big run. And uh, it's funny because I started off this run this morning just thinking I'd do like a half. And then the more I got into it, I just felt better and better. And um, these new shoes I got, these new kicks, gave me some, uh, gave me some extra, some extra oomph, and some extra pep in my step. Shout out to my boy, uh, Harry for sending these to me. So the marathon, we're gonna head down to possibly see Christmas lights tonight. And then we're gonna be making some, some deliciousness tonight. Uh, I think I told you guys already, but in case I didn't, I'm gonna be attempting to make, oh, hold on, I need to take a drink. I'm gonna be attempting to make beef Wellington. Chrissy's gonna make her apple tart. And then I'm gonna make some, we're both gonna make uh, these cheesy potatoes. Uh, they should be really good, but. In case you guys are wondering what the white is on my shirt, it's salt. I'm a very salty sweater. This is the best thing to do on Christmas in San Diego. This is like the only thing to do. Two hours later. So the Christmas lights were amazing. Now we're back home and Christy is going to be attempting to make a... I'm not gonna attempt to make it, I'm gonna make it. Oh, she's very, she's very confident that she's gonna be making it. I'm going to, I'm gonna make an amazing beef Wellington. All right, so those are my Wellingtons. Obviously I'm gonna have the big, bigger Wellington. That's the smaller Wellington. What you got over here? These are gonna be good. These are cheesy smashed potatoes. So we literally smash them and we're putting cheese and drizzling some olive oil on there. Yep. And then what we got in the uh, oven is a little, little apple tart. Ooh, that looks good. My Wellingtons are gonna be the best thing. All right, so this is the apple, the apple tart, apple crumb. Crisp. Crisp. Is it crispy? It's good. Mm. It's hot though. Okay, babe. Nailed it. That's good. You'll probably want more salt in them. Potato test. By far the healthiest tasting thing we've had in a few days. I give it a um, I give it a six out of ten. A few moments later. Okay. Babe, we got some bad news. What? Gordon Ramsay is not gonna be calling you. I mean, at least this one looks like a beef Wellington, and that's yours. Uh-oh, it's got a soggy bottom. What does that mean? It's not good, but whatever, I tried. Babe, 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 you're gonna break it. Slide on over to that Wellington. Slide in like you slid in my DMs. Ooh. Ooh. That's not the steak, is that just filling? You're gonna find out. Should I get to the steak? Um, yeah, I want you to just take a bite and see what the flavor profile is like. Really good. It is? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. It's good. Very good. Very good. Delicious. Alrighty, folks. Well, uh, this, I had no real idea as far as like how to structure this video. I'm still trying to get a better understanding of how I want to structure videos on this channel just because I feel like there's like a lot of different aspects to my life, but I, I, and I'm trying to like, you know, figure out how I want to put things in and what I want to do with this channel. But um, like I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, this is a 
question that I get asked a lot and it's about how I manage my calorie intake around holidays and uh, I mean really I get a lot of questions about how I just manage it in general when I do crazy food challenges or giant calorie challenges. I was actually really surprised the last video that I posted on this channel just because the last video was the full uh, weekend of, of training and eating video. I got a lot of you that actually seem to enjoy the the vlogs with me including my cycling with me including my um, You know different stuff that I'm doing in the kitchen. It's really cool. Honestly, I, I one of my big goals with this channel this year is uh, or actually I should say in 2021 is to actually start doing uh, Just really taking this channel up you know, and just really getting it to be the channel that just, I, I just really want to do more stuff in 2021 with this channel. And I'm really, really excited that a lot of you have, um, seem to enjoy a lot of that content. So I'll be doing more content like that for sure. Now to the main topic of the video of how I'm able to manage calorie challenges around my life or on the holidays. Um, I, I do want to say before I get into all this is that ever since I got into the whole like fitness world when I was a, a teenager, um, I started noticing that like within there seems to be like this notion that you have to either go ham go absolutely insane eat everything in sight don't track any calories don't track macros just eat everything you want until you're absolutely stuffed type of mentality during the holidays so there's that mentality the other mentality is Okay, I'm gonna bring my food scale to my Thanksgiving Christmas dinner. I'm gonna weigh everything track every macro eat my fill myself up on salad and eat small bites of everything and just get through the holidays and um, you know just gonna be safe be super safe and I still notice those two mentalities today like those two two things that I feel like are very prevalent on social media and especially within YouTube fitness whatever you want to call it and so I've gone through both mentalities I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys there have been a lot of times that I have and I, I felt I felt this a lot as a teenager. I can remember as a teenager, I was I think I had just turned 16. This is after I'd lost all my weight. It was Christmas dinner, and for whatever reason, I felt this is right after I uh, I had found intermittent fasting, and I, I felt like I I all I wanted to do was just eat. That's all I wanted to do, and so. For, for Christmas, my family, you know, we had everybody over and I um, I was fully aware that I had some sort of ED and I'm obviously I'm not talking about the, about downstairs, I'm talking, for guys downstairs, I'm talking about, if you guys know, you know, and there's a reason why I'm not saying the full word, I'm not gonna go into that right now, but I was fully aware that I had an ED. What was safe to me was to eat protein. That's all I did was just eat protein. I was probably eating 300 plus grams of protein a day as a uh, as a 16 year old man, young man, boy that weighed 155 pounds. And that day, I was I lived in fear of um, that Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner was like a huge thing, and I I filled myself up on salad and I was still so physically hungry and mentally hungry. I ate so much that night of salad and I and everyone was still downstairs and I, I tried to distract myself, go upstairs, watch TV, but all I could think about was just eating more food. So I went downstairs, I literally kid you not, and we had this big uh, uh, deli ham thing that would, we'd always have for Christmas. And so I, I went downstairs and I just kept eating this ham, scraps after scraps after scraps, I literally kid you not. I did. I went up, went back upstairs, and then went back downstairs, and then went back up, back upstairs, and went back downstairs, and just ate this ham over and over again, probably for about a good two hours. I literally went to sleep that night in just absolute, just like disgust, and um, it just because I I felt that was like a safe thing to do, but. I just could not really, um, I was still so mentally hungry at that point that it just, there was no like stopping point for me. And so now over the years, I've had to do a lot of internal work within myself to be able to understand the difference between being mentally hungry and physically hungry. And that is not something that therapy or treatment or any of those things that I went through for such a long time really ever fully taught me because I'm not a person that's your average person that's, you know, uh, 
that that's when all the stomach stuff really started happening and I started really pushing my stomach capacity so when it comes to when it comes to your stip, your typical ways of of getting full and and all that I've always when you have when you have the ability to eat 13 to 14 and 15 sometimes even 15 pounds of food it really complicates things if you guys I'm, I'm assuming a lot of you follow my main channel I did a 70,000 calorie challenge which was my biggest my biggest calorie challenge of 2020 ended up raising about $3,500 for Toys for Tots, so happy about that. That was probably the biggest, biggest success of um, of the holidays, 2020 for me. I was just really, really pumped about that. But I made that video and that video required a lot of prep work for me. Uh, I'm not gonna go into the prep work for now, but if you guys wanna see that, uh, comment down below prep. I'll make a video on that on this channel. But the um, that video was, was ridiculous. That was a lot of, that took a lot out of me for sure and a lot of people noticed that in the comments and um at the end of the day 70,000 plus calories the aftermath to that i've got a lot of also requests for you guys that want to know like see more after like calorie challenges and stuff like that so probably want to do more videos like that as well and at the end of the 70,000 calorie challenge i put on like 30 i can't even remember like 32 pounds of water and glycogen and all that food weight and everything like that now i did do a decent amount of activity during the actual challenge itself if you guys don't know my views on weight around calorie challenges in a nutshell i didn't actually gain 30 plus pounds i would estimate i probably actually gained around six to seven pounds of actual body fat mostly again stored in my my, my midsection and lower body at the end of the day an absurd amount of calories you know absolutely absurd crazy all that different type of stuff that was filmed way um way before christmas about actually over a week before Christmas. Um, I do these crazy calorie challenges and I've been doing them for, it'll probably be like six years now um, when we get into to 2021. And I've learned a lot of things about my body from consuming all of these, these thousands upon thousands of calories. The, uh, the, the one thing that I've really always told myself, you know, cause I do a lot of them during the holidays is that I'm never going to let the challenge that I film or whether it's Thanksgiving or Christmas, those are my two biggest, usually my two biggest food challenges of the holidays or doing Thanksgiving and Christmas. I'm never going to let them impact my, my holiday. I'm never going to let them like, if I have a holiday with a family, with my family, or, you know, whether it's Thanksgiving or Christmas, I'm never going to let that challenge that I film impact that. That's not just with food. If I'm trying to get together with my family or I want to like actually enjoy the holidays with my family, I'm not going to let filming something like that impact that. Now from the perspective of my body composition, calories and all that, I go into every single holiday. This has been the way it is for probably the past four, four years now. I go into every single holiday season as soon as October, like mid-October hits, I'm fully prepared to walk away at the very end of December about five to six pounds heavier. Sometimes even eight to 10 pounds. That was in 2018, that was crazy, crazy. So I'm already mentally prepared that I'm just gonna gain weight and that's just, it is what it is. And so my point is, is to you guys is that you will gain body fat, you'll gain weight, you'll gain body weight. You're gonna do that for the rest of your life. You're gonna gain it, you're gonna lose it, you're gonna gain it, you're gonna lose it. It's just something that's natural. And I feel like a lot of people become so fearful of the fact that they 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 don't know there's all that uncertainty there and that uncertainty causes people to go we're going to go back to those mentalities that i just described at the you know a few minutes ago of wanting to go crazy with food and then also wanting to just restrict and when you go crazy and then you restrict you just set yourself up in this cycle and i did so much of that that i know at the end of the day now that it's not really going to do anything for me i don't need to do those things because i've i've learned over the years that it just makes me just unhappy. It makes me feel like I've really accomplished nothing and that I'm, you know, I'm just going crazy. I've just, I've done a lot of internal work within myself to be able to like understand that. At the end of the day, what it comes down to for me is, is knowing I, I, I trust myself. I know that as a, as a person that's active, that knows my body very well, it's not really a big deal if I gain a few pounds. Really, it, it, is, it isn't, like it, it's not. So when it comes down to managing calories and managing all of that, I do not sit there and restrict 
what I eat during the holidays. And so that makes the times that I spend with my family or my girlfriend or you know whoever it is and I'm I, I really I enjoy those types of meals and those types of gatherings a lot more than I ever have because I actually like enjoy the food. Sitting down and having a conversation over a meal, I enjoy cooking things and you know enjoying I like enjoying the food. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't fully enjoy the food that I eat on my, my, my main channel, but it really makes me mentally and physically like actually enjoy the, the full process. And so I wanted to show you guys, you know, how I structure the holidays in this video. You know, I wanted to show you guys, you know, a little glimpse into how Christmas actually is. Um, I definitely keep my training the same. I don't feel like I need to, you know, change that much. You know, uh, this year is a little bit different in terms of my training just because my family didn't really have any uh, get togethers because we're all kind of trying to be safe and everything like that. But yeah, no, I don't really feel like I need to change that much about myself and um, I just enjoy it. That's all I feel like I need to do. And I enjoyed the holidays and had a great time and yeah. Um, that being said, I don't want to keep talking to you guys' heads off. I think you guys get the picture. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to comment down below. I love, um, I don't really read the comments that much anymore on my main channel, um, but I love reading and responding to the comments on this channel. So if you guys have a comment or question or anything like that, drop it down below and I will bring you guys the next Electric Talks video. Without further ado, I will see you guys in the next video.